What really happens after you take that first sip of alcohol? It's a question many of us have, but few truly understand. Today, we're going on a fascinating journey inside the human body to uncover the secrets of alcohol digestion. Believe it or not, digestion starts the moment alcohol enters your mouth. While you might think alcohol passes straight through, a tiny amount is absorbed by the lining of your mouth and tongue. From here, a small amount reaches your bloodstream, but most of the journey still lies ahead. Once in your stomach, alcohol is absorbed a bit more quickly. But here's the twist, food in your stomach slows down alcohol absorption. That's why drinking on an empty stomach hits you harder. When the stomach is empty, alcohol travels faster to its next destination, the small intestine. If you've ever wondered why your body reacts so differently depending on whether you've eaten or not, this is why. Now comes the main event, the small intestine. With its large surface area and thin walls, this is where the majority of alcohol is absorbed into your bloodstream. From here, alcohol makes its way into your blood, racing toward different parts of your body, your liver, your brain, and beyond. But first, let's see how your liver handles this sudden influx. Here, alcohol is broken down through a two-step process. First, an enzyme called alcohol dehydrogenase, ADH, breaks alcohol down into acetaldehyde, which is actually more toxic than alcohol itself. But don't panic, your liver produces another enzyme, aldehyde dehydrogenase, ALDH, to turn acetaldehyde into acetate. This process is why your breath smells of alcohol and why you feel the effects over time. But here's the catch, your liver can only process about one standard drink per hour. Drink more than that, and the alcohol remains in your blood, causing that familiar intoxication. Ever wondered why alcohol affects men and women differently? Here's a fun fact, it's not just about body size. Women tend to have less of the enzyme ADH in their stomachs, meaning more alcohol reaches the bloodstream without being broken down. Also, women typically have a higher percentage of body fat and less water in their bodies compared to men. This causes alcohol to be more concentrated in the bloodstream, leading to faster and stronger effects. Alcohol affects nearly every organ in your body. First, your brain, where alcohol interferes with neurotransmitters, slowing down communication between brain cells. This is why your reaction times slow down, your speech becomes slurred, and your judgment is impaired. Alcohol also impacts your heart, increasing your heart rate and dilating blood vessels, which is why you might feel flushed or warm when you drink. And let's not forget your stomach. Drinking too much alcohol irritates the stomach lining, leading to nausea and vomiting. Ever had a hangover? That's your stomach and brain teaming up to remind you of last night's choices. As alcohol makes its way through the digestive system, it eventually reaches the large intestine. Here, water is absorbed, and what remains, now mostly harmless waste, gets eliminated from. While the alcohol is now mostly gone, its after effects can linger. That's where dehydration, headache, and fatigue come in. It's your body's way of telling you it's still recovering. A hangover is the not-so-fun reminder that alcohol doesn't leave without leaving its mark. Dehydration, the buildup of acetaldehyde, and the loss of electrolytes all contribute to that pounding headache, sensitivity to light, and general feeling of misery. To help your body recover, drinking water, resting, and replenishing electrolytes are the best remedies. There's no magical cure, just time and patience. So, now that you know the journey of alcohol through your body, it's important to remember, moderation is key. 
Drinking too much too fast overwhelms your system, while drinking responsibly allows your body to process alcohol safely.